All right, what's up, guys? Husto7 here. Uh, I'm showing you off a quick video from my uh, brand new Xbox One from the midnight release. Um, so I wanted just to give you guys a quick kind of tutorial what you can do with the console, um, what's going on, uh, and how to navigate. So when you first turn the Xbox on, um, you'll you'll see uh, you know this screen. So this is after I already chose my new kind of profile and stuff. So uh, if you click here, you, I'm going to show you where my cursor is. I'm going to click on myself. Um, this will bring up kind of my friends list. This will bring up where I get to my messages. So the first thing it's going to show is my activity feed. So it's going to update. It's going to show me what um, you know my these players are doing, um, what achievements they're unlocking. I can watch their game clips um, and things like that. Uh, I can also scroll over here to my favorites list, which the only person I've added to favorites right now is uh, Major Nelson because I was just testing it out. But um, you can use the right bumper um, to scroll between um, those, and you can even scroll all the way over to start your party. Um, so let's scroll back over here. We'll click on my profile, and this is what your new profile looks like. You see, you get the kind of the high res um, avatars. I believe that the four uh, means that I've been on Xbox Live for four years. Um, you can see what my reputation is and how many friends and followers I have. Um, so here, when you are viewing your own, this is where you can, you know, set to appear offline if you're going to live stream or anything. You can choose your um, background color. I chose the uh, the blue right here, but um, initially I was using red, but that was getting a little distracting, so I set back to the blue. Um, you can set your gamer pick. You can even change change your gamer tag and I believe that you get a free gamer tag change uh, for upgrading to the Xbox One so that's pretty cool so if you want to change your gamer tag you can um, reset that there um, you can customize your avatar um, just like you could on the the 360 it's the um, pretty much exact same interface um, I would go ahead and show it to you but I might make a separate video about that because it's just uh, really similar so then you can scroll over to um, Call of Duty Ghosts uh, you can see that that was I just played that just a minute that was my kind of like um, you know recent thing so um, this is the, uh, you can see it it's, uh, says that my achievements are all um, locked, so I'm not sure if it tracks it separately than the, uh, than the 360. Um, I'll have to investigate that and let you know, and it also shows the challenges available for that game. So we'll go over what that stuff is in just a minute, but I just wanted to show you that you can view the activity there from, um, you know, yourself. So if you want to get back to home, um, and I'm just going to show you controllers right now. There is uh, lots of voice commands and connect gestures you can do. But for right now, just push the Xbox button just like you're used to. And this will kind of uh, snap it into the center and get you right back to where um, we were. So um, something to note is that these uh, applications down here are going to be your last used applications. So you can see that I went to the settings, the store, um, I played Call of Duty, and I was viewing achievements. So these will autofill based on your last things. Um, this down here in this segment will autofill to whatever game you have in the console. So you see that right now that's Call of Duty. Um, and then the My Games and Apps and Snap will uh, remain here. So if you want to, the Snap function is what you can do to have two things um, running at the same time. It's like a multi multitask. So if I want to, I can actually snap TV. Reinvented locking pliers. There we go. Grip, and I've got um, TV snapped, and then I can double tap the Xbox the button and switch between, pliers. you know, having my cursor this on this side of the screen or having my cursor on this phone. side of the screen. You get two so let's, uh, let's close that snap real fast because that was a little bit annoying. But you can see that you can snap all of these different um, applications, and I'll show you how to get applications um, here in a little bit. So let's get back to our home screen. Let's unsnap that and click our home button again. Okay, now there's uh, two, you can see up there it says pins and store. Pins is going to be to the left if you click the left bumper. This is where you can pin things. It comes with a couple of default pins, um, but you can repin whatever you want. And this is actually your favorite pin right here. So you can, um, you know, if you, let's say I want to make NFL my favorite, I can click on this and I can choose, oh, excuse me, uh, front. I guess it's not favorite, but I can click move to front and that'll put it in that top left, uh, excuse me, top right. Uh, it's really late. <laughs> that top right uh, segment. So you can change what's pinned, for example, Internet Explorer. I don't really want that pinned. I'm not a huge Internet Explorer fan, so we'll just unpin that. Um, and you can add anything you want into these uh, pins so that you have quick launch access to them. Now, pins is for uh, games. It's for uh, TV. It's for um, your apps. It's for everything. So you can pin anything you want. Now, if we click the right bumper, we'll scroll over here to the store. In the store, this is where we can, um, just like kind of on the, the 360, you can view the games, the movies, the music, and even the apps. Um, you also see that you have down here the search. You can use the voice command if you want to search, or you can um, click here and type in what you want to search as well. Um, you can also um, snap search, um, so that's pretty cool, and I, I'll show you how to do that in another video. But um, when we're back at our home thing, um, 
I have settings here on the quick launch, but if you want to get to your settings, I, I don't know why I was confused initially. I was like going to the right and going to the left and couldn't figure it out. Well, if you just click the, uh, the start button or the menu button, um, I think it's called menu now, you can see that settings is uh, right there. And you can also switch profile from right here too. Um, another way that you can switch profile is to bring your cursor up to this, um, and this is where this is where you can add a new gamer tag, you can add a guest, um, and you can even specify if you have the auto sign in um, why you are not recognized and it will give your connect an opportunity to get to know you a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and close that for now. And then this is your sort of like recently used um, applications and notifications. So if you, you know, if you're used to getting a message, um, you can see that these uh, were applications that I downloaded and I got a notification that um, they were uh, ready for me. So if you, you know, get a, get like a message from uh, you know, a party invite, it'll pop up here in the notifications tab. So we'll go ahead and close um, those notifications. So that is a, a brief look um, through the dashboard. You see the other thing you have over here is the uh, featured tab. Let me try to there we go, is this featured tab, which um, if, you know, you're getting the Xbox One Day One Edition, you've got a couple of um, things. It'll, it'll help you out with uh, some of the voice commands and stuff, and it will help you out with um, the, uh, you know, these tips and tricks will kind of show you some of the, uh, the ways that you can get started with this and, and continue to navigate this. But that's a, that's a little bit of a dashboard tutorial, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Alright guys, I got more Xbox One content right here for you. The video on the left is how to add and pin apps. Apps is what's going to run kind of everything with your Xbox One, so you're definitely going to want to check this out so you can uh, know how to work this. And the video on the right is your setup guide, how to get things like your uh, TV or your cable box or even your uh, audio receiver to work with your Xbox so it can be powered by that. So check both these videos out. Thanks so much.